All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this stream. My name is Frosty. And uh, oh, I need to listen to a. I need it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's fucking. This is a safe place. Yes. Sorry. Need this one. Um, the plan today, tonight, is we're going to check out Road to Vostok, which is a Tarkov style uh, game made by one developer. Uh, they released a demo of it. I have not seen it, looked at it, checked it out, nothing. I haven't even freaking, uh, who knows? Might not even run on my computer. Um, that's what we're going to check out. And then we are going to play some Genshin Impact afterwards because I have missed all of 3.0 and 3.1. There's a lot of catching up to do on, on some Genshin. So um, that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and load up the road to Vostok. Heavy day. Uh, where is that? Here it is. Road to Vostok. Let's see what happens. Why, why am I getting tisk tisk? Tisk tisk. Oh, you. Need to get my ass comfy. Okay. All right. Road to Vostok. Uh, Undo. Okay. 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 Cool. F1 is. I guess we'll we'll find that in game. Right, let's play the demo. Oh God, my ear. Pretty. Ah. Very pretty. Can I go back here? Oh shit, I can. Uh, hold on. Let me try something. Okay. 
Movement feels good. Very pretty. All right, what do we got? There's there's a bunch of bunch of uh, signs here. We got to read. Hold on. I'm wondering for my own personal. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those games. Uh, okay. Welcome to public demo. The purpose of this small demo is to get initial feedback on the core mechanics to give a realistic picture <gasps> of how the development is progressing. Road to Vostok is currently in active production phase and solo developed from Finland. You can feel freely stream, record, and share the footage from the demo. Oh, that would have been a real fast uh, closing this game down if that said not to. <gasps> My bad. Uh, movement feels really heavy, but good. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Demo settings in F1. Oh, yes. Okay. Dual render scopes. Let's increase the FOV a bit there, bud. Uh, V-Sync on. I'm just going to take a nap real quick, chat. Oh. I love the sound of rain. Um, there's just storms. Oh, here's volume. Okay. gonna drop drop that down just a little bit okay oh yeah that's much better oh that's infinitely better i wonder can i put this back on standard yeah okay cool that uh that v-sync was really screwing with me okay neat Containers. All objects that logically have storage space or loot containers can store items. Each container, whether it's cabinet, crate, tent, <gasps> or trash bag, updates every time you enter the map. You can open containers with middle mouse. Ah. Neat. Oh, yeah, it's true, GT. <laughs> Oh, now that you're here, hold on. Uh, can I? Ah, I can't do it in this window. Hold on. There's the sound of that thunder, though. Sound of that thunder. Boom. Okay. All items are physical objects. You can loot them, grab them, place them where you want. In this demo, items are demonstrated using these colored cans, which also represent item rarity. You can loot and activate items with the middle mouse. You can grab and place with G. Oh, neat. Can you throw? Gave you mod sword. <laughs> Weapons! Each weapon uses a procedural weapon handling, aiming, and recoil system. Once you have moved a weapon from inventory to equipment, the weapon is available for activation. One or two. Uh, is it tab? Okay, there we go. Tab again. Nice. Let's change that uh that FOB though. Drop that FOB back down. 
Oh, sick. I like it. <laughs> uh, the PM5. Oh, scroll raises and lowers, but so does. Oh, neat. So there's high ready, low ready. Which is cool. I like that. Primary. I like it. All right, how's the M the M4 feel? Their audio could use a audio on weapons could probably be better. All right, let's let's get rid of the uh storm there as much as I enjoy it. Neat. Now this is their this is their first public demo whatsoever. Oh, I like that. Uh, what is it? V for four and five for, okay. There's flashlight. Okay. Flashlight is coming out of the top of the gun. That's okay. And then laser. Oh, it's super tiny. Kind of cool though. Oh, they have that, uh, pointed off of the of the gun there okay what else we got it is going to be a genshin impact stream a little bit later yeah uh don't have a game that i um i'm into at the moment to start so Oh yeah, work work's been absurd for me, so I, I feel you there. A little shoddy gun. Oh, that's interesting. Uh they're gonna go with actually having to hit a uh, reload for um Pump actions. Neat. A yeast stream? Uh, I could. Which, uh, well, you want to start all the way back at one? <laughs> I technically haven't finished any of the yeasts on stream. Neat. I like it. Uh, this demo uses an AI spawner that endlessly spawns enemies on the map. When you go to the map, there are no enemies at first. Enemies only appear when you activate the spawner. You can activate it in F1. I think I do have it on, right? AI spawner on. Cool. Here's their roadmap. Core mechanics, which is what we are playing right now. 
Uh, Public Demo 2 will be a vertical slice of the gameplay loop, which will be very nice to play. Early access and then full release. Neat. Uh, the most of the mechanics are still unfinished. Feedback and bug reports are more than welcome. You can use the demo array feedback at there. Neat. All right. Um, let us see what happens. Put the uh, this buddy up. Very pretty. So the intent behind this game is it will be a single player experience, um, with a roadmap of co-op according to the developer so if you've always liked the idea of playing escape from tarkov but do not like the idea of playing against people um this might be something to add to your wish list uh and kind of track its development as it goes I like this low ready, high ready thing. Neat. Uh, yeast one and two are in what? Yeast Origins, right? Or is that a different game entirely? That might be a different game entirely. How does, uh, is looting just double click or? Oh, I see. Okay. There's just buttons there. Very neat. Road. Oh, Origins is a prequel? Oh, that makes sense. Dick! AI. <laughs> Oh, that's icy. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this one. As this development continues. There's obviously no other items in the game besides the, the guns that they have. Um, as they're just checking, like, core mechanics and stuff. Oh, is that... Oh, sick. There's actually... Whoa, shit. They... Oh, they have leans? Okay. Neat. Oh shit. There we go. Is there jumping? There is. Is there crouching? There is. Oh, Origins doesn't have eight all? Well, that's weird. Uh, let's try out the... Hey, 
Hey, hey, ow! Oh, the laser's still on. <laughs> Nice. Neat. Okay. Let's see what else is uh, back here. The AI not having any barking, like, to warn you that uh, they're near is, is kind of funny. I, I'm, I love this. Yeah, movement feels really good. Feels like slow and deliberate. Okay, there's definitely no just random jumping there. Playtesting can be exhausting. Take a little bit of a break. like it wait what oh I thought it was like a, a gerbil with a sword it's like what the hell I just need to get past the bump system in the origins all right okay and maybe that's something we'll we'll add to the list of something to see about playing. Oh Jesus. Frickin' ow, man. Frickin' ow. Alright, what, what is this? What is that? Demo transition. Let's see what this transitions to. the best uh cool i do like that uh it's being designed with ai already in mind it won't be just like something it won't be an afterthought Try out this uh shoddy. Um but yes. Everything feels good so far. Very much looking forward to that vertical slice demo now. See what the loop will be like with, with looting and how you're going to get in and out of maps if you are if it's just going to be a one whole map and you kind of just go from there like how close is it going to get to 
Tarkov in terms of, you know, um, looting and questing and all that. Runs well. That I can tell. Getting, uh, you know, well above 60 while, while dicking around. Oh, I got. Ow, ow, ow. Yes. Cool. Well, that is Road to the Stock. Uh, I don't think there's much more to the demo other than just checking out the, the core mechanics, which are weapons, the AI, and uh, and it's looting. Uh, movement feels really, really good. Um, glad there's no like real head bobbing while running. That would turn me off real fast from a video game. But super cool. All right. Again, the game is Road to of a Stock. Uh, you can wish list it right now on Steam. And uh, go follow them on Twitter too. One developer doing what they can. So we're gonna jump into uh, to Genshin now. Eh? 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 Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I, let me look and see if, uh, if Geese is... Was it Origin? Oh, you said Chronicles. So we would start here with one and two. God, the game's so old. Janshin. Janshin Impact. Oh. Yeah, let's just said I missed I missed three completely, um, which I know I was looking forward to because it was the brand new area, um, and I just I just missed it. There was other stuff to play, okay. It's okay. GT, we are also old. I don't know if that helps. Check uh, audio here. There we go. Uh, I already did my dailies, so uh, I guess I just have to start on the. Archon? I'll do the story stuff first, though. The Knights of Favonius. Let the show be Oh, GT, I was also playing that, uh, that deck you sent me for Eternal very much up my, up my alley and, uh, we'll likely do a, a run, a ranked run, uh, for the season of October.
Open up my handbook? What? Why? New tabs. Oh. What the fuck? What is what is sank what is this for? Artifact Nice. Oh Jesus. What is this for? Oh just random artifact stuff? Or any of it is any of it good? So much. There's so many. Oh, that's right. Dendro is the new, um, the new, uh, new element. What is this? Okay. May exert positive influence on your adventures. Sure. Eh? As in there, eh? Interesting. Hmm. It looks like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon. Oh God, I weird flirty librarian. Be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep, we ran into Kaya near the Adventurers Guild. Oh wow, Paimon's never seen so many people. Oh, that makes sense. All at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. The Knights of Favonia. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? No. Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand what Master. The... <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y yes Master Jean. Okay, that is a solid block of ice now. Right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> to the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe and all of its members are accounted for. Well, that's fantastic news. What expedition were they talking about? I don't remember an expedition. <laughs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past mm -hmm. i am still unable to disclose more than this 
but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we've received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as the Captain. Uh, the Captain? Nani. I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. The man hides everything under what? the mask he wears, <laughs> so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt Speaking of that, we that need to he could go through all the bosses today. By stabbing it in its big glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis. Don't get any ideas. Close Klee, parenthesis. Klee is a psychopath. That's why. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vinelaza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine a giant pen. of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laser Fest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah, ha, 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 ha. His laugh, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Who's this child? Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. <clears throat> P.P.S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Uh, oh, uh, this oh. part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vine Lisa Fest is in just a few days, and how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vine Lisa Fest will nonetheless be Vine a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest. I'm assuming this is just setting up this long the festival. that brings getting our to the new area, right? Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm. Who knows what that was about? But it must have been important. But uh Fatui Schmatui. The real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paima wants to hear more. Floating diaper, baby. Hey, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. 
No, this is not to get you to the new area? Oh, interesting. Well, this was just a winery event. Gotcha. If it doesn't end in Kaya and Diluc fighting, then waste of time. Lisa, the Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lisa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. Lisa. <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mondstadt's where our journey began, after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, Master Do we? King, neither of us really know... We kind of fought a dragon and a drunk Did god. Did you more about it? <laughs> yes, of course. The Vine Lisa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpassum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the animal archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze. I think he just likes alcohol. I don't know if necessarily he's a <sighs> wine lover. That sounds like the animal archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstadters call the western wind the returning wind. The Vine Lisa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind coming day during the following year's Vine Lisa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Uh-huh. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Oh, but there's really I mean, no way we could just knowing. ask him. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep, that'll happen. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, monsters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Hmm, all part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed, but for the time being, at least... The tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vine Lisa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vine Lisa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during how, the festival. Uh, how old was this event? Wine market? GMS. Was it like last year? Originally, it was simply a place <laughs> year, where winemakers like, and farmers would come to trade was in this the a 3.0 event for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy, too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, this one. Oh, this was yesterday? Oh, if you have neat. the time. So I, I haven't missed anything. Around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Really? We're bringing up Razor? Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves 
the Mormon girl. Never knew his parents. In its own words, the wolf pack is his Luca call, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? Clearly. It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No. The connection between them goes back much further. Wow. Well, come on. Let's go find Razor. I'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents. Hmm. Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one, even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's eh, circumstances. Debatable. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Stop flirting with me, Someone lady. His age needs all the love and support they can get. You horny librarian. Okay. Razor's usually around Wolvendom, right? Yar. Uh, after hearing about this. Uh, there we go. Hey, look. It's a hunting trap. Hmm. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springvale use. Uh huh. Huh? What is it? Electro energy? Hmm. Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of Electro and see where they lead. Uh, I forgot all of my buttons. There it is. Look, there's another trap up ahead. And can you feel that electro energy too? Electro traces lead deep into Wolvendom. Let's keep going. I'm working on it, lady. Damn, all the way up. Razor! Are you there? Uh, Nani? What? This way. There we go. All right. The last trap has been set. Razor? Thanks for coming with me all this way. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? It smells familiar. Friend. From far away. Razor! Oh, and it's dressed too! Are you two hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping Knights the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat 
catch boars, protect everyone. Wow, Razor. This is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. Fucking child. Yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. Tell Razor about Avarka's letter. Oh, I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. They wanna? Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Nani? Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that... His fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. Eh. You know, when Diana Debatable. was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Exactly. I mean, he was I raised by wolves. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? No, definitely not. Wait, but then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. <sighs> what do you think? Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend Doesn't like you matter. to rely on makes me feel much better about this whole thing. Tell my man about how you plan to approach okay, the situation. Got it. Keep him waiting. And he's gone. Oh. Hey, Razor. So, what are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like being stabbed by a wolf hook. Varka? Hmm. Tall. Very strong. Likes to laugh. Yes. Trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens... The Interesting that this is like, Paimon, like Lisa, story for Razor, who's been in the game since launch. Be here for you. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide... I want to go with you. To see teacher. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father daughter time in before the uh, divine laser fest starts. <laughs> Bye, Draft. See you again next time.
His daughter, the bartender. Hoi hoi. Uh. Oh damn, I gotta go all the way back? Map. That's true. A razor does not have a hangout event. There's a bunch of characters that don't, though. And some characters that did have a hangout event haven't had, like, a main story. Like, did Chong Yun have a, an actual story? I don't remember. I guess what Eula. Yeah. Yeah, the bartender that makes every drink amazing. Lisa, we brought Razor. Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Here, this is it. The wooden box. That's a I giant fucking it, box. Except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. A scent. <laughs> a scent? What kind? A scent. I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm, this woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait, hey, look, this wine bottle is still half full. And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand, uh... Thousand wind couple wine. things of yarn, couple bolts. Oh, so it's a bottle of thousand wind wine? Teacher, you know? Of course. Thousand wind wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstatters ever learned to make, or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each time. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. How can you tell? That must mean there's something pretty important about it. <gasps> oh, Hyman has an idea. Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. <laughs> huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet, cold, a little bitter. I like many <laughs> things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. 
Take a swig. It's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, great idea! Make sure you I was like, see and the empty? Ceremony, <laughs> Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for traps. Okay. Uh -huh. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Great! See you at the opening ceremony. Wait for the Wineless Fest. Two days later? Two days? All right, let's go kill the dragon and the wolf for our daily or weeklies. And then uh, I think I need, hold up. Switch you out for my boy. Present. And then let's go to the Dorgan. I forget which one I do. I think I do level seventy. No, I can do 80. I can do 80. It just takes me uh, like a bit longer. You can have up to 10 team comps now. Cool. Let's go, bitch. Yeah, I I don't think I have gone you. A touch of frost. I really want Eula. Your dick. Let's 
dance. Man, motherfucker. Toes. Do it again. A touch of frost. Probably shouldn't have done that there. That's fucking useless. Oh shit. Hey, remember when they had that really cool sequence at the beginning of the game where you were like flying in the air and shooting the dragon? Remember when they did super fun stuff like that? <laughs> I whiffed all of those hits. Now to go fight the wolf. I think the only boss I don't fight is Azdaha. Screw that noise. Uh, uh, I think to change what I have to no. My party setup for this guy is. I 
I see. I don't. I don't have gun. You. Benny. Oh, I was like, what character is this? I realized I it's her in her night dress. Her what was that? Twilight whatever dress? I think I got it for her and uh the other one. Kiching. I forget who I use on this. I think it's just Chivalry will never Book Boy. Geo monsters very scary. What am I freaking doing? Oh, we climbing. Um. Oh shit! Might not make it. Definitely not gonna make it. Um. I've never built any of the Geo characters out to, like, be actually useful. I know, like, Geo Daddy is supposed to be very good. But, just never used them. Here we are. Yeah, it's true. Ow. There is no escape. Fire hazard. No, Dick. I messed that up. Torn to oblivion. How fucking a hole? Witness the power of the watch. There is no escape. Dick hole. I'll protect us. Uh, 
Okay. Now, uh, what other bosses do I need to tackle? Uh, chill day. Well, let me go actually heal at a thing first. Heal me. Uh, this fight, uh, I'm pretty sure I use this. Or no, I just get rid of you. And I use Diona. <laughs> Leave it to me. I think. I think that's the. I don't remember. I haven't played in so long. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Dolphin. Burned too brightly. Come on, we can do it. Let's dance. I like how he's his hardest in this form. Your dolphin. You dick. Illusion shattered. Not bad. Not Absurd. bad. Not bad. You got a trick. Alright, finally. God protect us. The field is light. Right. Is your lock on now? No use hiding back there. Sword out of boobs. Trigger cutscene. Take a drink. Your strength is praiseworthy. I too shall use all of mine. Tartaglia.
It's for you, child. Ow. Ow. Shine down. Ow. Insolent. The field is lit. No, 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 it's too bad. Screw it, I'll just heal my team. No. Giant whale. Ow. Ow. Okay, can we get her fucking ultimate, please? No. Apparently we can't. That's fine. This is when I always use freaking what's his name? Chong Yun. But I'm like failing. <laughs> Shine down, torn to oblivion. Die here. Seriously, dodge that, you're a dick. No, no, no. Screw it open. Three bosses down. Two to go. I think. Get rid of Diona. Justice. Uh, go all the way to hell. I'm not fighting Geo, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> no fucking way. No way. Uh, I think this is the other one, right? No. Uh, Where is, where's the stupid city? Am I blind? I am. Here we go. It's a weird fight. All right, Kirby, quick bio.
is no place to loaf around. Uh, is this the team I want to use? The world remains constant over the no. centuries. But human yes? life is like yes. the dew at dawn. Maybe. Or a bubble rising yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, I've never been able to beat her at 90, so I'm just going to go 80. This fight sucks. <laughs> You're trembling. Is it the cold or just Senora. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Detestable. Shine down. Into the frozen void. Listen, lady. Part of your shit. Balls. Fire hazard. Lighter, please. <laughs> Detestable. Oh, I gotta watch it. I'll protect us. Oh, that was a bad idea. Said it was a stupid idea, okay? Time for a light show. The Tsaritsa's benevolence has no place for transgressors. Illusion shattered. Oh, 
Remove all obstacles. There is no escape. Ah. Fire hazard. The Tsaritsa's benevolence has <laughs> no place for transgressors. No. 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 No, dick. Body and mind. No, you dick. Let me leave you a verse. I hate this fight so much. Get the brightest I hate this fight so much. <laughs> this fight sucks ass. Shine down. Yo, what up, Louis? I, you could suck all of the ass. The mortal plane, a fleeting dream. Doing no damage. That didn't count. Oh, it's going good. Just dealing with the most hated fight I have in this game. Not even ashes will remain. Ow. Embrace your searing reckoning. Never played Genshin. Uh, it's very fun. Very, very fun. Um, I gotta go heal now, though. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know it's like, it's a mobile game, like, quote unquote, but... I would not, uh, I would not play this on mobile. I wouldn't even play it on a tablet. Like the game is super pretty. Uh, it just plays better with a controller. All right, hold on. Let me finish this. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if I should swap out. This is no place to loaf around. No, I mean, the team's fine. I just don't think I have enough DPS to get through the level 81, so we'll just do 70. Valhalla is a huge game. Yeah, I I get that. <laughs> You're trembling. Is it the cold or just cowardice? She was such a great villain. Oh, 
frozen bullet. Oh shit, oh shit. Ow, ow. Oh god. Oh god. I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh God. Come over here, lady. Body and mind. Into the frozen void. Thank you. Not like that. Not like that. You're a dickhole. There is no escape. Huh. the other ones oh, shit. the Tsaritsa's benevolence has no, no place for no. transgressors no 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 time for a light show Crimson Witch. Let the show begin. Huh. Gotta heal my whole team. Where'd you go? Yo, Lewis, have a good night, bud. Oh, God damn it. Come on, we can do it. There is no escape. Rain outlines your fate. Rain cutter. Shine down. Screw you, lady. Get the boob sword. There is no escape. Oh, ah, oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. Time to act. Yo, lady. Piss off. Who dares? Call me a witch. Shine down. 
I mean, you kind of are. Ow. Not every wound will heal. I never asked for redemption. Never. Uh huh. Oi. That fight's rough. Um, what's the last one? Is it, uh, is it Raiden? Is it the, the weird, like, Matrix fight? That's... It's on a different island, isn't it? Isn't it, like... Over here? No. Here? No. Raiden by the Sakura tree. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've only done this fight like once or twice. Uh. All right. I'm just going to do it at 70. Yeah, sure. Oh no, 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 no. Ow. Ow. Time for a light show. Eternity is in my hands. Shine down. What is happening? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? What? What is even happening? Oh shit. I ran out of stamina. I am the lightning god. 
Me, not you. Hey, you can't have your sword out at all times. That's kind of cheating. Your verdict is decided. I have to like pull it out of my boobs. Weak. Weak. Illusion of destructions. No, my sword. Shine down. I missed? All desire can be broken. You hooker. <sighs> Let the show begin. This body is eternal. Damn it. I win. Let's dance. Perish. Shine down. Fire hazard. Ow. Ow. Ow again. Eternity is in my hand. Sure you can. I'm not going to do the, the last, technically the last boss I can fight, which would be, um, there is no uh, as the, huh? Wait, which ones are these ones? Oh, those are the ones I have. Never mind. I don't need those. Fuck it. Uh, okay. Go to the, uh, the festival. That's what we're going to go do. Da da da. Ba -da -da. Balloons. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. He's right Let there. The wind lead. Razor, you're here already. Mm, so many people. Someone we gotta find. Find? Who? Uh -oh. Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know it all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. Let's 
Not like we don't know exactly where he is. How do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon during this most enchanting. In case you festivals. don't know the story, Venti is like the god that heart. they're talking about. Hmm. Barbados. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? All right. That was like video game. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Win Wine? About a thousand his years. parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says Thousand Win Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine. And the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Uh, well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. Like, I remember when the game came out, the two five-stars in the game. Day, well, there was a couple five-stars. It was like Venti, Jean, DeLuke. How about and how many people so were, like, re-rolling to try and get Venti? Like, early on. <laughs> A song, not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up Actually, the I don't even think I own Bendy. Them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight, for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. <laughs> Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? No. Like wine. A little sweet, but now... Head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. It was supposed to be about wine making, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Hmm. Um, Nani. an explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope. Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We 
we've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. Couldn't this been a beer making quest instead? If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key. Ah, uh, weird vampire nurse it's lady. Not as hard as you might think. What's your as name? Rosa Rosa Rose to the mix in Rose? spirit of joy and Rosario? sincerity. Rosario? I promise you'll reap the name? rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So, how about we meet again in 2 days? Let's say, same place, right here? Okay, I will remember. See you then. The hell is that? Oh, a banner? Nani. The hell is this? Oh, are these just, uh, I guess these are just quests for, yeah, okay, cool. Wait, what? Fruit seller. You're not even selling any fruit. Hey. Bernard. Wait! Honorary Knight! And Paimon, the best guide into that. I humbly beg for your assistance. We want Bernard. Wow. Did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? I hate this oh, stupid hey, diaper baby. Haven't we met? That's right. I am Bernard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. Uh, what? The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jean mentioned that. So, what's happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. I, I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but... My experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. Get wrecked. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. Mm hmm Yeah. Also, no need to be so formal. So you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause. She's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Avonius. We'll be more than happy to do our part. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. Uh, the wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for wine making. Sell them raw ingredients and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages international in during customers. the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, 
These customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for Fair Brew Jellies. Fair Brew so Jelly. Also known as Jello Shop. And place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh. Sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. R really? Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavir May from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 Sumeru. drinks of Fruits of the Festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please, consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. What's Once so wrong with the name jellies, George? Come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers, and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. All right, sounds good. We'll find the funds, and you sort out the shop. This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. Cool. Better -ba, go to the angel sale store. That's right here. I mean, I know what Sumeru is. It's wanna be like oh Egypt. Did you say Shaverme? He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. But I digress. What price are you offering this year? Oh. Uh. I'm sorry. Did you even speak to Shaverme before deciding on a price? <laughs> you must be joking. That's much too low. Look, I know we've had a great harvest this year, and our production costs have gone down a fair amount. But even then, I'm afraid this price is just not doable. Oh, come on! Hmm, a little lower than I was hoping for, but Piss off. he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. As usual, I will arrange for someone to deliver the goods directly to Shaverme's place of business. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. All right, let's keep bringing the funds in. We gotta work quickly if we want to gather all these fair brew jellies in time. Bernard says we can approach this however we want. Just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get a commission for every order we help place for an international customer. So maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. Still, just to make sure we've covered everything, let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Uh, check out the situation. In other shops. Honey. So up here? Huh. Traveler, Paimon, you're here. Barbara. Hey, it's Barbara. Uh, happy. Wine fest. Thanks. And happy Vine Laser Fest to you too. This festival is one of the most popular ones in Mondstadt. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. Oh, also, I heard from Bernhard that you're collecting fair brew jellies. I'm just curious. Are you helping out with the Knights of Favonia's charity event? We sure are. Everybody's got to do their part, right? The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds. I feel like they changed Barbara's the VA. There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open, but whatever comes up, we'll deal with it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, 
I just know it'll be a huge success. I helped out a small charity. Doesn't sale super for the sound like Barbara. Too. Although, my only contribution was standing out front and singing. Oh, and I also met the bard, Venti, there. He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. At first, I didn't want to sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. But he sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. In the end, the audience loved it, and we sold a lot at the event. So Barbara's worked with the tone deaf bard before? Yeah. Too bad we couldn't <laughs> the the casting director for make Barbara sound the depressed. I was like, I remember when they like the nice view when Barbara festival, first released, like she was super like I have to go to rehearsal. The the singing uh in the pause menu was super obnoxious. But like it made sense for her. I just don't know what, what this like super sad VA direction is supposed to be. Yep. Sounds like we've each got our own important work to do. Let's give it our all. Oh, thank you both. Well, maybe I can't stay here and sing, but I still have to sounds out of breath. to contribute. I can um I can help promote your stall. Hmm. Should I make some big posters? Or maybe some flyers to hand out. I'll have to pick a memorable slogan, too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Oh, then again, maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Wow. With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get lots more attention. It's fine. Really. It won't take me too long. Oh, now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me think about it a little more and talk to some other people about their marketing experience. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you later. Okay. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Favonius are really proud of you. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon's even more motivated than ever now. We gotta make sure we do a really great job here. Okay. <gasps> In charity and creativity, you must use the following two methods to gather enough funds before you open your charity shop. Sell ingredients to winemaking. Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, <laughs> whoa. I'd like to sell winemaking ingredients. Uh, damn. I don't need any of this shit. Are they like all over the place up here? Or is it just like... Seems like it was just that one... Uh... That one stall. All right, let's go find Edmund. Edmund and Honda. There's only two shops. Gotcha. Wait, since when did you get seeds from picking up stuff? That's... I 
I don't remember that. Hunt forest boars. Oh, because I'm holding the box. Gotcha. All right, what do I need to do? I have to go kill boars? Sure. A white forest boar. White maned forest boar. Okay. Sure. Autumn Crisis Expulsion. During Autumn Crisis Expulsion, you must expel forest boars in a certain area. You can only use normal attacks to do so. Okay. Oh, I can only use my main character? Wait, what? Oh. Confused. This is confusing. Okay. Confused. Uh, I see. That's weird. Yep. That's because I'm better than you. Obviously. I need another beer. Ow, my toe. Fuck. Wait, what? Fixing titles? Okay. Bam. 
many. <laughs> uh, defeat all opponents in the enemy camp. Sure. Navigate. What type of enemies are we doing? During the high wind trial, you may use bus drive. <gasps> you can obtain three at any one time. Differ best. Okay. Okay. Each challenge has five enemy camps. These camps will have wind currents that will allow you to reach the next camp quickly. Final camp of each challenge stage will have nemesis. Okay. Shine down. <laughs> Time to act. You're <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Illusion shattered. Horn to oblivion. Was that switching? Okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Fire uh. <laughs> Rain outlines your face. Let me leave you alone. <laughs> there is no escape. <laughs> Motherfucker. There is no escape. The field is lit. Come here. The hell y'all want? Yeah, here. Up, up and away. That didn't help. Where's 
Illusion shattered. Let the show begin. Inazuma shines eternal. Direct. Why don't you get off of your stupid thing? Shine down. Illusion shattered. Okay. Easy. your fate witness the power illusion shattered Well, I forgot they're immune. Okay. Another one? Jesus, how many challenges are there? This has got to be the last one, right? Yeah. yeah. Un. Du. Ow. Toi. Fire hazard. Shine down. Let me read you. Now you shall perish. Transcend all constraints. Shields is lit. Here comes the fireworks. Of course. All right, listen here, dickbag. Illusion shattered. 
I win. Woo! My eyeballs are bleeding. Okay. Uh, was that it? Uh, it was. Let's head back to the wine dealer. Uh, now what? I have plenty of apples. Not really, but... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 the events tab. Of ballads and brews. I have 50 festive fever. That's it. Oh, this event is like just started. Okay. To secure $32,000. Uh, oh, I see. So I have to go. Oh, cute. Okay. All right. Quick bio break for me. We'll grab another beer. I'll be right back. Do 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 da 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 Hoi. Okay. Let's do a few of these little uh, world quest things. And uh go from there. Do 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 map. There we go.
going to Liyue. It's kind of funny, like, I, uh, because of the team that I have in this game, I no longer necessarily, um, super am worried about picking up newest characters and stuff like that. But now when I get access to ZZZ, Sixty five cases of mint berries. Place an order with Diane. Hello. Cat's tail. Uh. Okay. We got some backstory. How much are we paying for mint berries? 12. There. Low balling you. Oh. What the fuck, lady? What happens if you fail? Does, do they just take all of your money? Do I remember Star Fox Adventures? I do. That was where... Never mind, I'm not going to say what I was going to do. But yes, I do. A quest. The Mountain Mixologist. There we go. Oh man, I'm so glad I don't have to do fishing anymore because I've already maxed out the catch. <laughs> Oi. That was such a freaking pain in the ass. A hundred cases of fruits of the festival. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> It's always funny, like when when games implement that, right? The um, the barter. I mean, I guess haggle mechanic. 
Um, it's like, why have that there when it's just kind of freaking hard-coded uh, what they'll accept and what they won't accept? It's like, there's, there's a point at which it will, it will just accept it. I'm eyeball. Did I get my 32,000? I probably didn't. <gasps> yes. Looks like we got enough money. You're wrecked, nerds. I'm the best. Bernardo. Bernard! We got all the funds you need. Already? Wow, you sure work fast. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Favonian goodies? How about, uh, Favonian goodies? Indubitably primal. Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Oh God, uh, no! Uh, don't mention KPIs or, or SOPs. I hear other store owners using uh, these terms. I already I work for a living. Really know what they mean? I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So, in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work. Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Uh-huh. Um, that sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business oh, my executives. Alright, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. The fuck? We have a clear corporate mission statement. There's a, a stack of pancakes and a piece of bread. Shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customer. Traveler? Paimon? What a Mona. surprise. And Fischl? Mona and Fischl! Yeah. You came to check out the market, huh? Oh, that's right. They changed Mona's Mon outfit, too. <laughs> And ask Lady Magistus to join the princess in on a like, tour why is she covered in stars? Festival. Like, oh, that's right, they changed her outfit. I, yes, I know who Fischl is. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid, most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. The Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments. 
<laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, her highness had a very nice what was the dream summer event? and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, her oh really? Oh, that sucks. To come to me for I know Mona didn't have much other than she's matter. like. She also noticed broke that as the fuck. <laughs> fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I of course agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree. I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Van Lisa Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter, in vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against uh, thee. I was about to say, when but did Fischl and Mona know each you, other? Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You were so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and oh, almost missed out on a huge festival. <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's you never have any money to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Oh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Chicken wings. Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the menu. Wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Froilein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Uh-huh. Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You all need to calm down. Ugh. Recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, die Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste and every bite was so sumptuous. Yeah, I, mi I, I must have missed a it, giant chunk of story. <laughs> Is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Heilige Sinfonie is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol. Yes, it is in almost every respect a far superior dish to the so called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Van Lisa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wine sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Yeah, I, I missed a, a giant means to say chunk that this of story dish about these a two. fraction of her <laughs> full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. Why is she calling However, official Her Highness? I cannot expect the sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. 
At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. Mm -hmm. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your trouble. Favonian goodies. In addition to our range Red. of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi-prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The Traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus. Your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. <laughs> oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. Okay. The hell? Anyway. Wait, what? How is Mona wealthy? Like, literally find her unable to pay for food wandering around. Anyway. Uh, after your shop has been opened, talk to Bernard to see how your shop is doing before every customer flow cycle starts. Distribute funds well and adjust the three directions of your shop. Your income will increase when each direction reaches its target point. Why are we having a... F what? What is this? After a certain number of customer flow... Okay. After a few... Uh, huh? You can invite assistance? This is a weird, this is a weird event. Uh, okay. Okay. Aha. Damn, you gotta reach 500k? Holy shit. Do it. Next cycle.
Oh, so I just gotta keep hitting that those markers? Emergency plan and practice. What? Okay. What is this? Sure. Oh, this is like the stupid. Okay. I fucked that all up. Can you only repeat it nine times? I can't bring it back down though I have to answer questions correctly. It's a test. If a known alcohol suddenly shows up, alcoholic suddenly shows up in front of your shop intoxicated, what do you do? What was he drinking? Wait, what? I'm confused. Next question. Items for sale are often boxed up and stacked, posing a fire hazard. As a shopkeeper, what measures will you take to prevent fire hazards? Uh... Wait, what? And one of the boxes. Oh, so it doesn't actually matter what you answer. Okay. Okay. So I want to change it. There we go. Ah. What does this one change to?
I'm confused. This is all very confusing. Oh! Oh, fuck me! Okay, well, that changes everything. I didn't see that. This is ball sacks. I can't, what? I can't get to that high, what the fuck? Okay. Uh-huh. The nerd. I just have to reach 80,000. We did. Done. I win. So that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. Weird ass freaking thing, man. Okay. You need a million fun bucks? Wait. Oh, I see. So you're saying do it anyway. For... Oh, okay.
There are no more customer flow cycles left. Please wait to unlock. Okay. I see. Oh, cause you get a you get a crown for this. Oh, your earnings goal is one million. I see. Okay. Just move sliders back and forth. Yeah, right. Cool. All right. Well, folks. I think that's going to do it for me uh, for tonight. Um, we will likely not be playing Genshin on stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to try and find a game for us to start. Uh, whether that's the Yeast series or um, maybe we play Steel Rising or uh, that new one, Soul, Soul Storm, Soul, Suck Soul, whatever the no hell it's called. That weird near automata anime game. Um, or who knows? I don't know. We'll see what we play tomorrow. Um, it'll likely be uh, early. And it will likely be a long stream tomorrow. As I have nothing to do this weekend. I have a broken toe. I can't really move. And uh, I don't have a car. So. <laughs> at least for the weekend. So that means I'll uh, I'll be kind of sitting, uh, sitting here and streaming some games for you guys so uh we'll see what we can do tomorrow anyway have a great night uh thanks for the support on the single player tarkov series that is ongoing every tuesday and thursday it's been a lot of fun to make uh it's been great seeing the support for it as well so if you've missed any of that feel free to check it out new episode drops next tuesday and i will see you all tomorrow night have a good one peace out All the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unseen.